but uh, we talk about kind of funny a lot. Um, and I was listening to one of their game casts, um, one of the most more recent ones, and they talked about uh, how while one of the rumors has also said that Mario, whatever the, the Mario 3D game is going to be a release game. Um, so I'm going to kind of pose this question to you, Nate. Do you think that it'd be wise to release their Mario, uh, their, whatever their new Mario game is, like the, the 3D world, not Mario 3D world, but the Mario in a 3D space, like a huge Mario game alongside their Zelda game as a launch title, or do you think it'd be best to stagger those out? Uh, part of me wants to say it's, it's better to stagger them. But, again, this all depends what the actual first-year lineup is for the system. Mm -hmm. If they've got, like, 12 massive games hitting uh, next year, which would be, you know, less... That'd be over one game a month. Yeah. uh, Then they absolutely should launch with Mario and Zelda. Especially if they know, you know, a, a month later, you know, that's when they have Pikmin coming. Or a month after that, they have Pokemon Stars. And a month after that, they have, you know... The, the new Smash Bros or whatever, like whatever they have lined up. Like if they have such a killer first year lineup, to me, you almost should because I, I know there's the argument over, oh, you really should only have one killer game at launch. Why? <laughs> Not everyone cares about Breath of the Wild. And Mario is a much bigger franchise yeah. than Zelda in terms of popularity. Uh, so you could argue it almost makes sense to delay Zelda for so Mario can have the spotlight, but they're both going to have... Like equal spotlight. When you go to pick up a Switch, there's going to be a giant Mario and giant Breath of the Wild banner. Like you're, if you like Nintendo games, you're going to grab both day one. It's yeah. just going to happen. Um, I don't think Nintendo needs to concern itself, especially if they know the Switch is coming in at a killer price. Like if they know, hey, two fifty, people buy a couple games with it. Like that's that's a good price. That's mm-hmm. a good deal. Um, you know, for basically what you could buy the Nintendo Wii U Deluxe version on its own. You could end up having the Switch with Zelda and Mario. Like, that's huge. And, and I think also <clears throat> what people have to remember is that Breath of the Wild is not exclusive to the Switch. That's true. It's also a Wii U game, which means that while it would be a killer game at launch, it's hard for me to be like, man, the killer game at the launch of the Switch is a cross-platform game. <laughs> So it almost feels like there's actually room for that Mario game to also be there at launch because it would be exclusive. So, like, you might be able to make the argument at launch, ah, oh, I'll just get Breath of the Wild for Wii U, but you can't get the new, new Mario game for Wii U. Um, well, so yeah. I can kind of see both scenarios. I, I think if <clears throat> it exists at all, like if Mario's coming at launch, I could see why they might purposely delay Zelda mm-hmm. because Zelda's not an exclusive. Uh, but I can also see a world where just release them both. They're ready to go. What? What? You can't have too much, too many good games at the launch of a console. Yeah. Um, you know, Mario and Zombie U is kind of like the big combination for the Wii U. Why can't it be Zelda and Mario? Like, well, that's I, one of the things too. Like, I don't know why you want you want a con- console pusher game to come out as your as your opening sure. release game. So. Mario makes sense. Like that's that's probably one the most recognizable name in video games. Oh, um, it's their easily. mascot. For a and uh, so, like that makes sense to have that as a system seller. And if you think about it, a lot of people, even some of the people that uh, have commented on our Facebook page, um, we have commented on on our uh, posts, have said that they're probably just going to end up picking up the Wii U version at launch. Like they they don't know if they're going to get a Switch yet. So if Let's say theoretically, if half of the people pay or pick up the Wii U version and half the people pick up the Switch, that means that it's not pushing systems like you, like a Mario game would. Like they're not getting yeah they're not getting the you Switch. You don't have to buy the Switch for, to play that yeah. game. Yeah, that, that's that's kind of like um if you think about any not that this is a cross platform game, but in a way it is. It's like saying, oh, I want Call of Duty specifically for the PlayStation 4, so I'm going to go buy a PlayStation 4 even though I have an Xbox One. It doesn't really make that much sense to a lot of people. To, to us, to hardcore Nintendo fans, we're like, of course, I'll go buy a Switch day one even if it's like a brick that says Switch will be here in two months. Like, probably. Uh, probably <laughs> that'll be my pre-order. Um, but that's that's not for everyone. Not everyone's going to sure. jump on the Switch bandwagon right away and they're going to want to play Breath of the Wild r- right away um, because there are fans... And we'll get to this topic a little later with the fan topics. There are fans that feel like they've been burned by Nintendo, um, by oh, for sure. by pushing the release date of Zelda, what was originally Zelda U, 
way, way, way further back than than they ever thought it was going to be. Um, and they're also burned by the fact that it's now a cross-platform game and that the quote-unquote definitive edition with a better graphics and better frame rate is going to be on the Switch. Um, <laughs> and so that, you know, that doesn't sit well with them. Um, but moving on, and this, is, this isn't really news, but this is something that I kind of want to just, just, like, think about for a second. So... Very a few days ago, Majora's Mask released on the Wii U Virtual Console. Um, this is like no surprise. They're they're just gonna keep putting out these games um, on the Virtual Console, but with the Wii U second screen, um, and I know that this is like a you know the Wii U's dying, but mm-hmm. do you think it would have been a better use? Or do you think it's... Okay, well, two questions. Do you think it would have been a better use to put the 3DS version on the Wii U? Or just to... Um, or do you think it's even worth it to put Majora's Mask on the Virtual Console for the Wii U in general? Like, do you think anyone's really going to play it now? Um, do you think it's really going to be that, like, you know, big of a seller on the Virtual Console? Like, that's not really a topic, but I was just kind of thinking about this the other day. Like, when it came out, I was like, okay, but, you know... Not that I, again. I love Majora's Mask, but like, who really cares that it's on the Wii U Virtual Console now? Um, I mean, the Wii U is dying out, so it's easy to argue uh, that adding anything to the Virtual Library really isn't worthwhile. Uh, but at the same time, it doesn't cost Nintendo anything to really do it, mm-hmm. and they might get some sales, and people might be hoping, like the Wii, that you could transfer these these sales to the to the switch in, in some form uh we have no idea if that's going to happen hopefully we find out that news in january but uh, i i think i mean like like you said you know bringing the 3ds version over I, I don't really think that that matters to be honest yeah uh the 3ds version isn't in hd uh it would have to be remastered again to even make it look good on uh on a home console and on top of that this is the virtual console, so it's supposed to be the classic games as you remember yeah, them. that's true. Um, and Majora's Mask 3D isn't as you remember Majora's Mask. Uh, it was actually funny because I, I was reading a comment on Facebook today about uh, a post that, that we made the other day about uh, how, what is it, Hyrule Field being remade in Unreal Engine 4, which is like the third different version of this we have posted <laughs> out there. And the comment's like, I don't really like that this version in Unreal Engine 4 looks so glum and like you know looks so dark and i'm like well here is the original trailer for ocarina of time like the the actual opening for the original game it's dark it's glum in fact the whole game feels that way Mm -hmm. and some of that was because the n64 did have kind of an issue where like all like all games basically got a little washed a little bit uh so it made things appear darker than they were meant to be so some of that isn't necessarily maybe what the game intended, but that's what the game felt like. So, it, it, you know, I, I look at it like with Majora's Mask, it's all bright and everything on the 3DS, just mm-hmm. like Ocarina of Time 3D is, which maybe that's what the original vision vision for the game is, but that's not what me as a player experienced back in 2000. So uh, I, I like that it's the original version. I hate that... For some reason, they released it, and people who have it on their console already aren't getting the two dollar thing. Yeah, that's that sucks. Like, discount, that should yeah. never happen. They they should never release a game on Virtual Console without testing out how well it works with that discount system. Um, to me, that's just a massive oversight. I don't know how that got out of testing to go live. Um, at the same time, the Wii U Virtual Console has been extremely disappointing. And I don't just mean from like a game release standpoint um, and how weird it is that every new console they release, they have to reset the whole virtual console. It's just weird. Uh, which I understand why, because they keep changing architecture, but yeah. they really need to streamline that more. And hopefully the Switch is the beginning of, of them doing that. Hopefully. Hopefully. But uh, people, like anyone who plays the original games, or like even now if you have the, if you are lucky enough to have the NES Classic Edition, uh, those games look like the games were originally supposed to be yeah so if you look at the virtual console you know compared to like the nes uh, classic edition or uh, even like the original games 
on the original systems that came out on, like Nintendo 64, Super Nintendo, etc. Uh, the games on Wii U are not emulated very well. Uh, they have a lot of, oh, I guess, input lag. Uh, they're also <laughs> extremely washed out, even more than like the original N64 was. Uh, so, <sighs> the Wii U Virtual Console just isn't good anyways. <laughs> I, <No. laughs> I, my only hope is that they allow you to transfer the game to the Switch and that emulation is fixed on the Switch. Because as it has proven with the NES Classic Edition, Nintendo does know how to emulate their own games really, really well. Uh, just the Wii U does not do that. Yeah. Like, it's it's done well on the 3DS also. Um, like, we have, uh, at least, I was playing uh, Adventure of Link the other day, um, and it was it was pretty good. Uh, it's Zelda 2, sorry, the Adventure of Link. And it was really good. Yeah. It was... It was well done emulated on on the 3ds <laughs> but you're not going to get that type of emulation on uh on the wii u it's sadly that's that's just not going to happen uh, I, I don't know why i don't know if nintendo's ever even said why the emulation is just so bad i, I don't know I, and like you figure it's it's more than powerful enough to run this stuff well and it's weird because the wii had okay emulation on it and then what we have with the wii u is <laughs> is not no, not as great, which is bizarre. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm glad it's the original version because that's what it should be on a virtual console. Uh, I, I just, I don't know. I, I guess I'm kind of with you. Like, I, I don't really know why they're still releasing virtual console games. To be honest, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I, like- I mean, I guess you know maybe it's to fulfill that promise where they said, "Hey, we're not done supporting the Wii U." Yeah, if that's the support, then I think they need to be done. Um, <laughs> Well, they, weren't they still releasing virtual console, virtual console games on the Wii? Like yeah, two no, years they were. Ago? They they kept going for some reason, yeah. and then they shut down the shop, or the shop doesn't work, or whatever. Might just be yeah, because they, I have Homebrew on my Wii, but that's neither here Oh, I think they they uh, got rid of all their online services. Okay. So. That might be it, because I know the Wii Connect twenty four thing died a long time ago. Yeah, um, which is I still don't didn't really understand what that was, um, but <laughs> yeah, we're kind of in agreement there. Um, yeah. Nate, 